Hello, my friends, Christine here from Rabbit Trails Homeschool, and I want to share with you a brand new science unit we have coming out, which is Rabbit Trails Through Science Biomes. This is going to be such a fun unit, and it is one of our nature units that we have, because we've kind of been able to branch off a bit in our science. We have a space unit, um, which is not a part of the nature unit necessarily, and we have um, some other stuff coming out this summer that won't be under the nature stuff, but this biomes lesson is under our nature science units that we have. And of course, all of those units use this amazing book, Explanatorium of Nature. I love this book. It is huge. It has so much in it. It is heavy and it is really, really well done. We're going to dig into this in just a little bit because first I wanna tell you what's going to be inside of the curriculum. Of course, this is all literature based, so you're going to have lots and lots and lots of beautiful books, including the Explanatorium, including a poetry book, and tons of picture books. So inside of this unit, you are going to have eight different lessons, and so each lesson is designed to take about two weeks. We do have a sample schedule for you guys on the website if you wanted to see how you could lay that out in your own homeschool but really it's however you wanna do it. If you wanna take one week to do the lesson, you can do that. If you wanna take three weeks to do the lesson, you can absolutely do that. We're kind of all over the place. So that two week window, you can see how you could lay that out to be done over two weeks and then make it for your own family however you wanna do it. I don't like to have actual schedules for you guys because I want you to not have to worry about box checking. If you want to just go through it however you need, you can do that. If you wanna make out your schedule so it takes up two weeks, you can do that. That's the beauty of it is flexibility. So the eight lessons are um, one on general biomes, forests, rainforests, grasslands, wetlands, mountains, deserts, and then the tundra and polar regions. So you are going to learn about all the different biomes all over the world, and you're gonna have so much fun doing it. There are a lot of great hands-on projects, um, and of course, the beautiful books. So first, I wanna flip through a lesson with you so you can see the layout. If you're new to Rabbit Trails, this is something that you can see the layout of all of our lessons are exactly the same, so you're not having to guess and see how it is. And if you are a Rabbit Trails veteran, this is exactly like your other lessons, so you are going to know exactly what you're gonna be doing. So the first part is we always have a lesson. And so the lesson for these nature curriculum is really right inside of the Explanatorium of Nature book. So it'll tell you exactly what pages in there to read. It'll tell you um, what to do for nature journaling. We love doing nature journaling over here. Um, and so this one will bring you into a lot of comparing and contrasting of the different regions. Um, and really seeing what there is in the world to offer us with all of these biomes. So your children will have the opportunity. I just get a three ring binder for my kids. Um, so I love just putting in notebook paper in there for them. We also are able to put like their um, art projects and stuff in the little pockets then. You can use a regular spiral bound notebook. Um, if you wanna get a nature journal that's got like blank pages, you could also do that. So it's literally whatever you can pick up at Walmart is fine. Um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy because this is a notebook style curriculum in that there's no workbook available. What you get is basically a teacher guide for you to use and then you can just do it in your notebook however you want. Um, after that, we also have copy work. And so the copy work in this curriculum, some of it comes from our nature book which is the book of nature poetry. This is jam packed full of so much poetry, way more than you would ever need for just this curriculum, but I love that it has all of those extras because they're really, really well done. They're from like well-known po uh, poets like Langston Hughes and um, Emily Dickinson and just all of these great, great, great names. And then all of the pictures are amazing wildlife photography. So your kids will have, my kids have had so much fun going through this and I know your kids are gonna love it as well. So there's another example. So it is full. There are pages and pages and pages of poetry. Um, there's a table of contents in front so you can go 
um, kind of by theme that it has the wonder of nature in the sky, across the land, in the sea, in season. And so you can flip through that and have a ton of fun using it in your other nature studies as well. But we will tell you exactly what page to turn to for the nature poetry that goes with the specific lesson. So you guys can flip on right to that. You can just read the poetry and have a fun poetry tea time. You guys can use it for copy work, however you want to use it. And then of course, we also have a Bible verse and a tiny little Bible study to go with it as well. Um, so you can use that verse as copy work um, or you can just use it as a read aloud um, to do the little Bible portion of that. So there's always some type of lesson just to tie that verse in to the main lesson itself. And then of course, we have our some fun, which is always some type of hands-on project. So in this one, you would be making a desert in a jar for our desert lesson. My kids loved this. Our poor little cat just actually just died. I felt bad. Um, I think we put too much water in our little biome um, for it to survive, and we definitely don't have the correct soil for it. Um, but this was a really fun one. My kids loved it. It was actually, it sat on our um, kitchen window actually for quite a few months. So it wasn't like an immediately dead thing. <laughs> It lasted for a little bit um, for us to enjoy up there. I am not great with house plants, so it's not a surprise that it died. Um, and then we always have the rabbit trails page. So this is where you start really going down the rabbit trail into that specific biome. So it will have some book suggestions. We always have a video suggestion, usually on YouTube. So it's super easy for you to find um, and get that. My kids love the videos and how it just brings it all in a way that they're able to really relate to. And then we always have more book suggestions from you to grab from your library if you want. And so here's the thing with any rabbit trail is if you find books, let's say we're talking about the desert for this lesson. If you find books at your library that we don't have suggested but are about the desert, grab them. You don't have to necessarily get these exact titles. We've just picked out some of our favorite books that we were able to find about these topics and throw them on that list for you guys. If you can't find these at your library, but your library has other books you can get, go ahead and grab those. Absolutely don't feel like you have to be held to these books, but they're really great books. So if you can find them, um, I love using thrift books as well to get a lot of used books um, on there and that keeps it really affordable for stuff I know that we wanna keep and buy. We also have the more ideas page. So on this page, we always have vocabulary words for our science. So you guys can look up these vocabulary words and this is something you can do based on your kiddo as well. Do you want them to have those um, dictionary skills already? You can go ahead and get into your dictionary and find those words that way. A lot of them are found in the glossary in the back of the book of Explanatory of Nature as well. Um, so however you wanna do it is fine. Um, if you wanna just talk about those and not write them, that is okay too. My kiddo really enjoys kind of that copy book practice and that and the practical practice of using the dictionary. If you wanna look words up on Google, that's fine too. No one's gonna judge you. And then there are more ideas to dig even further into that biome. A lot of times there are hands-on ideas for more experiments and little kits and just different things to do to dig down deep into that specific biome. So that gives you an idea of what that looks like inside, but now I wanna show you a little bit more inside of all of these amazing books that's inside the curriculum. So like I said, Explanatorium of Nature, this huge, heavy, amazing book. We've used this for our bird study, we've used this for our reptiles and amphibian study. Now we have it for biomes. We're gonna do lots more out of this book as well. Um, so this is a great book to have. I think it's about 20 bucks on Amazon. I have it on my shop. You guys can get from my website as well. Um, so this is absolutely fantastic. It has so many great pictures. Oh, let me lug it open here for you guys. It's one of the biomes. This is the last section in this book. So you can see here, we've got the mountains page. There's all kinds of information. I really like this one with the plants and animals that they have little bubbles at the bottom to tell you a little bit more detail about the plants and animals that live in those biomes. So my kiddos chose to do lots of um, plant and animal sketches in their nature journal and all of that too. And it shows you the map of where those are located and it is just really fantastic with all the information that is in here. My kids learned so much going through this. So this is what we have been doing all fall. Um, up until this point so that we kind of like we're the test drivers for you guys. You can see that one. They loved the rainforest um, 
lessons. Let me get to that one for you. They really love the rainforest. They love learning about the layers of the rainforest. And so lots of cool animals there as well. Really, really fun. So that is our main book with all of that main information in there for you. And then of course, the other main book is the book of nature poetry. So if you want to buy any books for, those, for this curriculum, those are the two you're gonna wanna have on hand. Anything else is absolutely optional. So let me show you some of those optional books real quick. I grabbed a bunch of them from our library, a couple of them I own myself, um, and they're just really fantastic books. So Cactus Hotel. Over and Under the Canyon, I love this series of books. There's all kinds of over and under books out there. They're just gorgeous. One Small Square Woods, this is another one that's a series that I absolutely love. You could probably find most of them for the different biomes as well. I don't think we have them all listed underneath the different lessons, but if your library has like the whole series of this, go ahead and grab as many as you can because it'll be fantastic. Are Trees Alive? A Voice for the Everglades. I love this woman's story. Um, this is the main book for our Everglades National Park lesson as well. So I really love this one. The Desert is Theirs. And The Boy Who Grew a Forest. So those are just a peek at some of the books that you will see inside of the curriculum. It is just so much fun and I really hope that you guys love it. Um, if you guys wanna see a sample lesson, you can see that on the website. Like I said, the sample schedule is on there as well. If you wanna see how you could lay it out over two weeks, it's all right there for you. So you guys can go check it out and go ahead and grab it for your homeschool. I hope that your kids will have the best time learning about biomes together. All right guys, I hope you have a great one.